Hey, excuse me, I'm here to pay for my ticket. Where do I go? Gee Williger, sir, I can help you with that, no problem. What you're gonna do is go down this hallway, make a left, and the door's gonna be right there on your right. Hey, I was told to come here to pay a ticket. Well, Gee Willigers, how may I help you? Wait, aren't you the secretary from the front? Mm, no, that's not me. Okay, whatever, I'm here to pay for this ticket. It was $100, here you go. Thank you for your payment, but you're three minutes late. I hate to be that guy, but the law is the law. I need another $100.28 to complete this payment, or we're gonna suspend your license. You cannot be fucking serious. <sighs> Here, you know what, fuck it, just take it. Again, thank you for your payment, sir, but we don't take pennies, so I can't accept this. What do you mean you don't take pennies? You just asked me for 28 cents and change. There is no other way to get to 28 cents without three pennies. You know what? Here, just take a nickel. What's an extra two fucking cent? Oh, no, sir. We can't do that. We can't have you overpaying for a ticket. We're not in the business of scamming our citizens. That's just not going to happen, sir. I'm terribly sorry, but we cannot accept five cent. We need exact change. Okay, how about you just give me two cent back and change, everybody's happy. You get the exact amount and I get my change back. Oh, terribly sorry, sir, but we also won't be able to do that either. Due to the coin shortage, we're not gonna be able to give any change back. Then how the hell am I supposed to pay for the ticket? You are making this so much more complicated than it needs to be. Look, sir, if you don't have the exact change, I'm just going to need you to leave. My line is starting to get pretty backed up here. So you can come back tomorrow, but there will be an additional $75 charge. So let me get this straight. You won't take exact change because you don't take pennies. You also won't let me overpay because you say you're going to be scamming me like you're not scamming me already. You also won't give me change back due to the shortage. And if I come tomorrow, there's going to be a $75 fee tacked on because, again, I would be late to making the payment. Am I getting this correct? Yes, that is exactly correct, sir. You know what? I didn't even really like driving anyway. I'm just going to get a horse.